California is our annual juried exhibit that we host every spring. Um, we put a call out to artists all over the state of California, working in all mediums to submit their work for consideration and also to be considered for a solo show opportunity. So this is just our way to highlight artists from all over the state, show off what they're doing, what kind of creative movements are happening, and to really capture kind of the essence of the state of California. Um, so we are really honored to have um, a huge variety of artists every single year. This is the 35th year, so it's somewhat of a milestone. It hasn't always been hosted here at the Bray Gallery. This exhibit used to travel throughout Orange County, but we've had it for a good while. And I've been here for nine years of the Main in California show, so I've seen it evolve a lot of ways. Um, there's really a huge increase of uh, very contemporary work, very imaginative, cutting edge work. Um, there's a lot more installation, there's a lot more video performance pieces are being submitted every year. And so it's really interesting to see how it is kind of capturing the essence of what's going on right now in the art world, at least kind of regionally. This work has really changed. Um, it's a lot more about technique and exploring things that are new and different and just kind of breaking outside of the box. Um, it's really cool to highlight artists that are doing that in the show. There just seems to be this momentum of people, they know the call will come out October 1st, they know to look for the information online for the prospectus, and then they have until February, whenever the deadline is, so they have a long time to think about what piece they'll submit, make something new, or especially if they're submitting for the solo show, they can put together a, a really impressive body of work to be considered um, to hopefully get that selection. So people are definitely being very intentional, with their entries and thinking about, you know, they've seen the show in the past, what is new and different and exciting that the panel of jurors might be looking for, something that catches their eye. So there's definitely more preparation, it feels like, more anticipation. Um, this space is about 6,500 square feet, which is really impressive for a city gallery, and we're very proud of that. Um, but we typically allow between like 80 and 100 works into each exhibit, depending upon their scale, what we anticipate the show design to look like. Um, we have a huge number of entries each year. We had over 2,400 pieces submitted just for this year. And so if you do the math on the 91 pieces that got accepted, then it's about 2% entry um, that people get accepted at about a 2% rate. So we're able to fit about 91 pieces in the greater exhibit, and then the solo show will have um, a varying amount of work. This year it's eight very large, beautiful paintings. And so we're able to do a lot with our space. We have movable walls, we have beautiful high ceilings. We want there to be cohesive feel, um, different vibes or you know, thoughts or emotions that, that run through different parts of the exhibit as you transition from one room to the next. And so what we've evolved into part of this Main in California process is that myself, um, some of my curatorial staff, and a guest jury each year are the ones that sit on our jurying panel. And so it's a very democratic scoring system. We give points to each of the pieces submitted. But then once all of the points are allotted, we take the highest scores and I kind of take a curatorial look at the selection of work. And if we have 300 pieces that got a top score, but I can only fit 90, um, I go then in with a critical eye. And even though a lot of the work is amazing, sometimes it just simply has to get cut. And so that really benefits us later when the work comes in and we're doing the layout of the exhibit and all the different details, the lighting, and just the flow, really, you know, that extra step added in there helps us kind of make it feel more like a curated exhibition. So obviously the show has not been able to open yet because of COVID and the state regulations on museums and galleries. Uh, we are still hopeful that the exhibit will open to the public and we can allow more than our exhibiting artists in for sneak previews. Um, but we have actually taken a lot of time and done some virtual features of this show on our website. There's a click through like 3D rendered edition where you can go through like a, an AutoCAD version of the gallery with all the artwork. Um, the artist statements and bios and things are all on our website. You can vote for your favorite piece after you've clicked through the digital version of the exhibit. And we're also working on filming a walkthrough tour of the exhibit with some voiceover. I do some like curatorial commentary. 
And then as well, we're going to be hosting some more of our Instagram live curator tours. So I'm inviting people on Instagram into the space and showing them around. And it's not quite the same as being here, but you know, I think we're all doing the best we can with the current times, but we're really hoping we'll be able to open up this year. And if not, next year is gonna be better than ever, like it always is. So we invite everyone to join us then.